Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Joshua, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror, and sci-fi, and anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you enjoy tonight's offerings. Content for the blood god. I mean, <clears throat> on with the show. Tonight, we have Midwest Angelica. Uh, we're going to be looking at three videos, uh, the first of which is going to be Homebound. So, without further ado, let's boogie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's uh, drop the volume on that bad boy. Whew. Noise from the 80s, man. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? All right. Home Delta. Top secret. For the eyes of Home Delta Command only. Approved by Admiral Nero. Home Delta. Operation Homebound. Operation begins 4 13 1999. Ooh, Deathbringers. Home HQ uh, determined to be completely assimilated. Oh, that's not good. AGM-114 Hellfire Bombardment of Home HQ commences at 12.01 a.m. What the fuck? Obliterated? I hope fucking so. Ground forces uh, raid long perimeter. Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that long perimeter? Was that was that what it said? Bra oh, ground forces raid long, long pine altar. Twelve oh three a.m. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh, obliterated. Jones family giga tracked and located at the coordinates. Well, if you want to read that, then you can read that. Obliterated! Orbital bombardment of Alpha Chunk and Starfield Ranch commences at 12.10 a.m. Obliterated. Starkill threat. Obliterated. Secure access broadcast. Top secret classification broadcast commences four fourteen nineteen ninety nine. Approved for broadcast by Admiral Nero. General C. G. C. Piso. As per the request of Admiral Nero of Home Delta Division, this report is to be given to the select committee consisting of the Secretary of Defense and the National Aeronautics Space Administration on the date of April 14, 1999. This report is classified as top secret in an effort to preserve national security. On April 13th, Home Delta Forces managed to successfully <laughs> eliminate all known traces of the Starkill threat. While some Starkill spores remain in the atmosphere around operational zones in the Midwest, these spores were discovered to be inert without the presence of a central biomass hub. Research is now underway at various institutions across the United States to uncover the Starkill's true nature and functionality. 
Preliminary research performed by Home Delta has led to the hypotheses surrounding the possible origins for AZ-001 or possible instances of AZ-001's arrival to Earth in the past. Throughout written history, world cultures and religions describe some variation of an apocalyptic deluge in which a great destructive force violently brings civilization to an end. Researchers believe this deluge is representative of the organism known as AZ-001 and the subsequent Starkill infestation. It is believed this civilization ending event occurs in cycles, though much remains uncertain at this time. However, what we do know is that the cycle of destruction and violence has finally been brought to an end with the might of the United States military. We may well even have stopped the power of God himself. Well, like, I, I would ask this, uh, and yes, a family-sized bag of Doritos sounds really nice, actually. Um, like, if this occurs in cycles, like, how many times have we successfully uh terminated the star kill or whatever the fuck it is um uh, how many times have we done that before and thought we were good and then you know, like oh here it comes like two thousand years later or 500 years or whatever the fuck it is with just a fraction of our military capabilities find solace see i don't like when you fucking say shit like that you know stop the power of god with the fraction of the mil our military power are you serious but really okay all right all right that fact the fact that we have nothing more to fear in this universe for we become stronger than god the f I'm saying that shit that maybe that's why your universe doesn't exist anymore the oppressive become the oppressor and only the oppressors have the freedom to choose peace and end the cycle of violence admiral nero i commend your efforts you lurked among the shadows as you played your hand i'm fully aware you may try to kill me now, but know that the man speaking in front of this community right now is actually a death row inmate scheduled for execution. I too am playing your game, Nero, and I'm. Wow! Wow! The man posing as General Garrett C. Paizo was confirmed to be death row inmate Isaac Dunn. <coughs> His death was ruled in as, as an assassination. Yeah, yeah, no shit. General Garrett C. Paizo's current whereabouts remain unknown. <coughs> what the fuck? Is that Garrett C. Paizo? Oh. Uh, Ad Admiral Nero, first apostle of Azazel. Uh oh. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts, his act being seven ages. Piso was careless. Now you are the last of your kin left alive in this facility. Ah, but the truth cannot be set free. Home has completed its goal. The complete eradication of the Star King. That is the story that I've ever so carefully woven. But the truth lies obscure beyond the veil. My dear child, there is no need to worry, for all is right in the world. Uh-oh. Beta chunk separation. Sing your last song, my children. Sing your cry to the universe. How you long to live forever through the sound of a heartbeat. Oh, how even I find such sounds to be soothing. A mathematical purity, the expression of the universe's logical blueprint in a tangible form. Music enriches the soul. It is truly humanity's crowning achievement. Now, my children, let your voices echo through the vastness of space. Let your souls sing with great spirit for all eternity. Fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Home D 
Delta threat. Obliterated. That was pretty cool. Um, so this Admiral Paizo is uh, playing definitely uh, like he's, I guess he's the one that's uh, uh, leading the obliterations. Um, uh, or I, I guess that's what it is. Um, um, yeah. Um, next one. Let's go. This is called pause. Friday. Continued sunny, warm, breezy, low 65, high 85, winds south 15 to 25 miles an hour. Ah, you see it? Ah, ah, ah. Pause. And finally, Easter. Ooh. Home. Two nineteen nineteen ninety nine analysis report Xenobiology Research Group Psychological Contamination Lab BSL four Research Center Clearance Level Top Secret Emergent Starkiller Research the process of communication between unique instances of Starkill, including the instance known as AZ001, has yet to be fully researched. New findings indicate that communication between unique instances occurs on an information plane parallel to local reality. Audio report from Dr. Stanley Vega of the Xenobiology Research Group in regards to findings associated with Podolsky neurons. While we previously had a rough understanding of how the star kill infection assimilates foreign biomatter and that its methodology for doing so seemingly depends on what intentions it has, we, until recently, failed to understand how different pieces of the alpha chunk seemingly all become aware of new information, even if its pieces are long distances apart from each other. Recent experimentation revealed that certain alpha chunk samples animate a unique energy signature not previously encountered in prior studies. We've discovered that this energy signature becomes more detectable in parts of the alpha chunk where large concentrations of what we fittingly called Podolsky neurons are present. Because of their presence in AZ001, we are of the belief that these Podolsky neurons are part of the entity's central nervous system. Specifically, they are responsible for transmitting information signals to different parts of the entity's body. The observation that different pieces of the alpha chunk all become aware of the same information simultaneously, despite their masses not being physically Quantum. connected, leads us to believe that Podolsky neuron signals operate on a principle similar to quantum entanglement.
this long-range network of Podolsky neurons has been dubbed the Akashic Plane. Oh, what the fuck was that? Access to the knowledge within the Akashic Plane may be the blank, blank, blank. Okay. <clears throat> Akashic Interaction Test, 315-1999. Test Participant Information. Name, date of birth, city, home ID, baseline phrase. Okay. So, name, Stanley Vega. Date of birth, 6-7-1958. City, Chicago, Illinois. Home ID, whatever. Baseline phrase, present day, present time. Podolsky samples are inserted into the spinal cord via incision in the neck. That seems like a bad idea. Three. Three. Samples are administered and results are recorded via EG, EEG. Test one. Participant is asked to report thought processes and re-enter personal info. Stanley, uh, seems... Well, okay. Participant continues to believe that the test is a screening for infection. <clears throat> test John Carlisle, 410-1946, Long Pine, New England, 21 East 4th Street. I pray every morning and... Participant expresses intimate knowledge of a man named John Carlisle. Test 3. 
three. Seems painful. Your brain's trying to process quantum fucking like signals. All everything all at once. Like an everything bagel stuffed into the middle of your brain. Participants' vocabulary is limited to the word Easter. <laughs> Akashic Interference Probe Prototype <clears throat> Extracts data from the Akashic Plane Requires Podolsky Cluster for data quality. Alrighty. Well. That, ladies and gentlemen, was uh, everything uh, currently from Midwest Angelica. Um. Come on over and take a look. There's a lot here that was covered uh, before. Um, if um, it's been a while, like uh, so, it, like if you wanted me to uh, cover it in a uh, uh, again in a future um, uh, stream, let me know. Um, but um, yeah, that was um, Homebound Pause and Easter by Midwest Angelica. Uh, let me know what you thought in the um, uh, in the comments, um, and uh, just so you know, uh, the tagline for Midwest Angelica is uh, in the year 1999, a corpse descends from the cosmos right into your backyard. So it's pretty interesting. Um, like, subscribe, and share. I love you all. Be safe, happy, and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.